So what we're looking at here is I have a one-up riser. So I figured it would be kind of, for those who don't know how long it might take for the riser, I'm gonna go ahead and put this riser together, see how long that. At the bottom of this one here, I got some custom stickers that I ordered just to kind of jazz it up a bit. It's a basic black which is fine, but with the sticker kind of combo I brought, it came with like the Mortal Kombat piece and uh, it looks the same way on the opposite side. It has a nice dragon. I'm a big fan of these dragons, so that was something that would, um, I figured be kind of a nice touch to this. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put this together. So this is what it looks like out of the package. Uh, you got your wrapped, looks simple enough. Get your screws here and a little package of instructions so so this is the assembly nice fat graphic on the side the mk2 graphic you can get these off of ebay from whatever graphic designer of your choice they only cost like 25 bucks or so it's going to vary here's the other one on the side don't need those i only have them on you know the two sides there but they came as a as a combo pack that i got with these things didn't do or show a full assembly but i just want to give a inside look at to what this is like so you have four panels here on the side and like any and everything else with these cabinets when i say in, easy to assemble they come notated there's a r in an RP, the instructions, you're just gonna follow the guidelines of what they tell you. And let me do a, turn this up as such so you can get an idea of what that looks like. So there is the inner components of this one-up riser. And it's configured and set to hold the weight very nicely. And once you put the actual game console Onto the riser, you'll just have like the two screws here that you'll screw on one side, right, one left, and it's stable and it's affixed very well. And you can, you know, within playing, you don't have to worry about this being detached in any way. But simple setup, as I mentioned before, you have these two inner strong braces here for support. You have these top portions here that the cabinet will sit on to help brace it and then you have your four panels or your four sides i should say being your front your left your right and then your back and for the most part all you need is a phillips head screwdriver and you're good to go so it's, it's that simple it's that easy and I will show how you will affix your console onto the riser and then you're all set to go. A very sturdy construct, no different than plywood or the particle wood associated with how they manufacture these things, but very secure and robust type of base. So that is the second one I had purchased and there's another there. So let's go into getting this on top of the game console. It generally takes two people, but uh, it's just me. I'm gonna lift this thing up, get it up there, and then we'll see both side by side. And Drop it on the riser. 
So there it is, the assembly. I just did a short version of putting this together. I didn't want to go through the actual full setup, but for the most part, about 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Um, this is both consoles, what they're looking like, and that's the one up riser. It gives it about 58 inches in height. Uh, easily, easy assembly and just wanted to do a quick video to show what that's like and this is just once again how I customized my own one up risers with some decals and whatnot that I got offline but thank you for watching the video and that is it for the most part you get an idea of the nice height that this gives these consoles and they're definitely needed once again, please feel free to like, comment, 